Hello all, welcome to Focus the Future Dentistry. Before you go for the dental PSC exam, there are a few things which you need to remember. Firstly, before going to the things to remember, I'll just talk about the dental PSC exams. The previous one was conducted in 2017 and the pattern of exam was, there was 30% of questions from the basic science. There was GK, general knowledge and current affairs, which was around 20 questions and there was clinical, dental clinical sciences for about 50 percentage. So out of 100 questions, there were 30 questions from the medical basic science, 20 from the general knowledge and current affairs and 50 from the clinical science. So what about the pattern for this year? After 2019, the government had decided that for professional exams, the general knowledge questions won't be asked. So we don't have general knowledge in the upcoming exam. So what do we have? We have syllabus which is broadly divided into part 1 or part A subjects and part 2 or part B subjects. And what are these part 1 and part 2 subjects? So part 1 is your basic science, medical basic sciences which are general anatomy, human physiology, pathology, pharmacology, biochemistry and microbiology. So these subjects which are more of medical, uh, more from the medical part has been introduced under a part 1 or part A of the dental PSC exam syllabus. And what does the part B or part 2 contain? The part 2 contains all the dental sciences which includes oral anatomy and histology, uh, conservative dentistry, endodontics, oral pathology and microbiology, orthodontics, periodontics, oral medicine, community dentistry, periodontics, oral surgery and anesthesia prosthodontics including dental materials. So few important things to note here is there is no general medicine or general surgery. Nowhere in the syllabus general medicine or general surgery is given. And one more thing is the dental materials, the entire dental materials is included under prosthodontics. And there is under oral surgery they have given a separate heading oral surgery and anesthesia. So this may include the local anesthetic or the general anesthetics. So you can expect questions from uh, general anesthesia and local anesthesia under oral surgery. And also uh, the DM carries a lesser weightage because it is included under prosthodontics. So along with the CD, FPD, RPD and all, there will be one or two questions from dental materials. So that is regarding the uh, topics. So what to avoid? You don't need to read general medicine, you don't need to read general surgery and also lesser weightage for dental materials and also think about reading something more on anesthesia that is local or general anesthesia because that is given under a separate heading so most likely they may, might ask a question particularly from that topic okay so that's regarding the topics so how was it previously conducted like i said in the last 2017 exam they had around 30 percentage questions from basic science and 50 percentage questions from clinical science. So approximately around five questions per subject. So it was very uniformly divided. So five questions uh, uh, per subject. So how can it be this year? So we know that the 20 GK general knowledge or the current affairs questions has been removed. So how will the pattern be this year? So we can expect a pattern either the part A subjects that is the basic science subjects will cover the 50 percentage and the part 2 subjects will cover the other 50 percentage. So you may get a pattern where there is more importance or there is equal importance for the basic science and equal importance for the dental clinical sciences. Okay, So that, can, that must be a possibility or there can be a possibility that the 20 questions which used to come from the general knowledge and current affairs, uh, those questions will be uh, or in, instead of that 20 questions, you may get a dental subject question. So that will again change the pattern to 30 questions from the basic science and 50 plus this 20, 70 questions from the dental science. So these are the most likely pattern. Mostly it will be 50 from the basic science and 50 from the clinical science. So that's how uh, we should plan and prepare. And further uh, regarding the maximum marks, regarding the duration of exam. So the 
Number of questions is 100 and the duration is 1 hour and 15 minutes. So that is like 75 minutes for 100 questions. So that will give you approximately 1 minute 30 seconds per question. Okay, so you get around 1 minute 30 seconds for a question. So and the mode of exam is OMR marking. So you need to bubble. So this is this is not an online exam. So you need to bubble on the answer sheet and you need to spend some 10 seconds or 5 to 10 seconds for bubbling each correct answer and only one response per answer per question is allowed. So you can't uh, sc scribble off or you cannot rub it off and mark another answer. So you need to answer only one bubble per question. Okay. So what about the marking system? So the marks are they have given one mark per question. So the total marks is 100 negative marks is minus one third. So for every uh, correct an answers you have one mark and every wrong answer you get around uh, you lose around 0.33 marks. So you should what you should be knowing is normal negative marking is plus one and uh, or it is plus four and minus one or you can put it in a different way plus one and minus one fourth. So here the negative marks is more minus one third. So don't do any loose um, guessing or you know don't mark simply some answers you should do educated guesses but make sure that you reduce your negatives because the weightage for negative is more okay so that is a bit more challenging if you are trying to uh, score a good marks you need to make sure that your negatives are controlled and finally regarding the hall ticket the hall ticket is available on the Kerala PSC website, download it, take a printout of it, keep it with you, take the ID card which is uh, under the hall ticket, they have provided you the necessary information of which all ID cards can be carried inside the uh, hall or inside the examination center, uh, use those ID cards and uh, finally the reporting time which is very very important. 10.30 is the reporting time, even 10.31 they might not allow you inside. So the Kerala PSC is always strict about these timings. So make sure your timing is correct, make sure you get all the necessary items. You need to take your own pen to mark. So uh, have a blue or black colored pen. Uh, so make sure you are taking all these things and uh, take necessary COVID precautions. All the best to all of you. Thank you.